Alright guys, so I know I said I was only going to do one compiled catch video per month, but by the time I was done with all the fish I caught on the American River, um, it was already over 22 minutes, so we're going to do a mid-month this month. Now, I originally started fishing here because I wanted to start scouting for stripers to see if maybe there's an early uh, run, but um, did not catch any. I also was hoping I'd catch a steelhead, but again, also zero, but had uh, surprising um, catches on the American, something I had never actually caught before and I wasn't expecting to catch. So hope you enjoy, sub, and like if you like the content. Thank you. There he is. Playing around. Oh, what the hell is that? Is that a fish? Oh, got one. Got one. It's a trout, I think. Huh. Got a trout. I saw it splash. <laughs> I saw it splash. And, uh... Threw it out there, and there it is. Oh, by the way, guys, there was this really big steelhead that was uh, either chasing the little ball, uh, schools of trout, or they were just uh, it was just swimming around along with them. Yeah. Okay. Got one. Got another one. Another trout. <laughs> They're not very big. Oh, yeah. he's actually, yeah, it's about the same size as the other one. There's a lot of them here. All right, dude, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hold your dang horses. Hold your dang horses. Okay, Jeez, dude. Oh, actually, are these? Yeah, nice little fish there. There you go, dude. You're okay. Come on, come on, get out of here. You're okay. Come on, man. You weren't out of the water that long. Let's go. There you go. Good boy. So I was seeing the big steelhead that was uh, ch either chasing or swimming with these little trout. I came back the next day with a uh, little Cleo. Again, this was uh, after work, so at most I probably had 30 minutes to fish. But I was probably fished for about 20 minutes before it started to get too dark. Finally. Finally. <laughs> Look at this tiny, tiny trout. There's so many of them out here. If I had like a smaller bait. Unfortunately, this uh, trout was hooked on the eyeball. Oh, shoot. Uh, it looked okay when I released it, so I think it was good. Seeing these little trout everywhere, I came back the next day after work and I came back with some BFS and trout lure just to have some fun. Again, not a lot of time to fish because it was after work, but I, I still, I think I caught one this day. You real on this high star, Aurora BFS. There's one. First one. We're not gonna keep switching baits, guys, because there's not, there's just not enough time. <laughs> there you go, 
dude. There you go. So came back Saturday, still hoping for steelhead. So I had this little Clio. I had no luck with it, but I did bring a bunch of different BFS lures because I knew I was going to have more time to um, fish today. And uh, yeah, this was a fun day. Going crazy for this rooster tail. There's one. There's one. On the rooster tail. Man, they're just going nuts for this rooster tail. I mean, bite after bite. There's one. There's one. Another one. Another one. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That one got off. This is fun. Third one. Was that one, two, three, four? That's four. Correction. Two landed, two lost. Oh, this is a big one. Alright, some of you guys will recognize this reel here. This is the Valiant Eagle 2. And in more than one occasion, I've been told to get rid of it because it's overbraked. 
but I've taken off half the magnets on this reel and I only use it for heavier lures and to be honest it's pretty good once you make that modification. On a rooster tail. I catch it on something we've never caught anything with. Like maybe this thing right here. This one, blade bait. Blade bait at seven. Alright, I was initially really excited about the blade bait because I caught one fairly quick after switching to it, but after fishing it for a little bit, it was definitely not getting as many bites as the rooster tail. And in fact, it's I think I had like two bites on it. So I uh, quickly switched to uh, another bait that unfortunately I can't figure out what it's called, but it's kind of cool. It's got its own little rubber co um, coat. Where that you can fill with water so you can control like how far down the water column you can fish it so yeah so that that's the next bait that you'll see all right let's see how this does oh shit <laughs> Okay, they like it. Okay, there's one. Oh. Well, we had one on this thing. Uh, that's, what is that, eight? So like the blade bait, I was hopeful about this particular lure. Um, I caught one fairly quick and I was getting more bites in the blade bait, but I had to keep refilling the chamber with water so I could fish it under, under the surface. And uh, yeah, I was getting a little impatient with it. So I switched to this other type of blade bait I, it's called a crazy shrimp, and I think it's more for ocean jigging, but um, yeah, that's the next bait here. That counts. Got it on this thing. <laughs> nice. So, as you'll see in the next few minutes, um, I actually had a lot of good solid bites on this lure. But they just kept coming off and at first I thought it was my drag, but after setting the drag they were still coming off. I, it might have something to do with the way the hooks are, are um, on this bait. It's like tied to little strings. So yeah, I don't know, but yeah, it kept coming off.
help you any if you don't have your drag set. And as you can see here, they hit it, chase it, and hit it again. So they really like this lure. another one there Stay down. Stay down. Oh, jeez. Let's try um, this thing again. Try not the bubble bait again because I really want to get one. I really want to land one on it. So it took me a while to finally land one on this bait because these fish were definitely keying in more on the rooster tail and the crazy shrimp blade bait, not so much the other blade bait of this one. Yeah, so it took me quite a few casts to finally land one. They're definitely biting it, but man. Having already caught a uh, fish on four different lures, I wanted to try a fifth which was this tube now this tube did get a lot of bites but unfortunately the jig head i used for it was too big and so i don't think they were able to get the uh, their mouths around the hook so i decided to go back to the rooster tail just um to see if i can catch any more before i called it a day This rooster tail, I swear to God, they are just, uh, they love this thing. They chase it all the way to the, to the edge, unlike the other baits. And then this thing, you get a bite almost every time. Look at that, I mean, okay. <laughs> right to the edge.
There's one right there. Woo! Man. <laughs> These guys are really good with throwing this thing. Keep it down, keep it down. How you doing, bud? How you doing, bud? No, 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 no. fish but this was a lot of fun thank you for watching